Today, I remade the new Knuckles trailer, but right here inside Minecraft. Right here in front of me, I have a panel with all the parts of the trailer. And when I recreate everything, we will have the complete trailer. But there is one big problem. I only have 24 hours to do all this. And the time starts counting from now. This here is Niku, and he was the one who challenged me. I will explain to you later the reason why he challenged me. So the first scene that we are going to do from the trailer is this one here. And what happens in this first scene is exactly the following. The trailer starts with Knuckles himself running in a forest, kind of zooming in on him, showing his speed, and after he's in the forest, it shows him coming out of that ring that Sonic uses to transport to places, but he's like in a mushroom forest. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna need a few things to help me. First, I need Knuckles, so we can use him. In this case, the 3D model. I also need a forest map and a mushroom map, and a ring, which is where he teleports. Well, for the Knuckles model, I have two here. One was what I took from Adam, and the other I created in this video. This one that is from Adam, I think it's cooler for the trailer. This one that I created, I liked it quite a lot, but I'm gonna choose this one for us to use in the trailer. And for the second item I need in this case would be the map, the forest map where Knuckles is going to run. So I recreated it here inside Minecraft. I didn't use an actual Minecraft forest because I thought it was cool, and I wanted it to be better if I created one myself. In the same way, the mushroom forest. I also created it, but the difference is that I used some 3 3D mushroom models and spread them on some mountains and the scenes turned out like this. Oh cool, I created the scene here and here's the forest. Well, I think I'm gonna do the following. For Knuckles to run, I would have to place him running from here down there and then position a camera to show him actually running. So I'm gonna come here in blockbuster mode in the scene and I'm gonna add the Knuckles character. Because here's the thing, when I press to record, he's already with a preset animation, which is literally him moving his arms like this, see, as if he were running, even though he's standing still. But now if I come here, give slash effect, and put speed at 10 for example, look what happens. I already get much faster, but I need more. So I'm gonna put my speed at 30, and now yes, I'm running super fast. I'm going to record the whole scene here, and cut. Then when I come here, look, Knuckles is here. And look, now there's already the scene of him literally running, and now yes. So it's just me positioning a camera. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit difficult to position the camera on him, but I can use this mod to do the following. I'm gonna add a position for the camera and I make it stick to the character. Look, it's just me positioning nicely where I want, which in this case would be like here. Let me try to put more or less in the position I want, which is this. And every time Knuckles starts running down here, see, my camera is stuck to him. It turned out insane. And as I had spoken and shown, I also have the mushroom map here, which in this case here, they are 3D mushroom models. All these blue dots here are 3D model. And also considering that I have there in my hotbar, the Sonic and Knuckles ring, where he's going to come out. So for this scene, it's going to be very easy. We'll just position here and I'll come out from inside here. Our first scene is ready. I'm not gonna show it to you guys completely yet because the rest is missing. And then we put the full trailer together, but I can give a spoiler. Look at this. This here is what the scene is like in the original Knuckles trailer from real life, him in the forest, and then him passing through those mushrooms with the ring. And this is how my scene in Minecraft turned out. He running in the forest and through the mushrooms as well. You can see that I played around a lot with the lighting, making certain parts blue and green. But yes, the complete trailer only at the end of the video, okay? We have a problem. Just this first scene took three hours to make, meaning we only have 21 more hours to complete Nico's challenge. I think I probably will have to ask someone for help to help me make either scenes or some settings because alone I won't be able to do it in 24 hours. And I also haven't explained why Nico challenged me, but I'll talk about that soon. I'm just gonna do scene two right away because our time is very short. So since the next three scenarios are simpler, I'm not gonna ask anyone for help yet because I think I can do this part alone. Here next to us, we have scene two, which is as follows. It will be a part where Knuckles, he's taking a jump and and hitting a strike on Eggman right after Knuckles appears, Sonic and Tails together on a mountain that will be very easy to create. And they also running together in a city. I think the hardest part will be to place these glows here in the game. Probably I'll have to do an edit later in a program because it is. There are no such glows here in Minecraft itself. But to make scenery, I did the following. I created a cylinder, that block of skulk. I think it looks quite like a green metal, right? I don't know, it is shiny but with blur and glow later in the edit, it will look very beautiful. And there I went. I was increasing and decreasing the size of the cylinder. And inside I put as if it were the gray metallic part of the robot and with white eyes. 
and look how it turned out. I separated here the knuckles. Tilted, that's when he jumps. Him normal, and Eggman. I'm going to come here. The camera will catch more or less this view, so Eggman has to be here. He's going to stand still, and then I will create an animation of him getting kind of bent, like this down, as if he had taken a punch. And now here in front, I record with knuckles. He's going to stand here, and we'll approach him. No, it didn't work. I will have to approach more slowly. Wait, like this. No, wait. I'll just give a little touch on the mouse. There, ready. That was better. Now I will also record a scene with Knuckles. But in this position of his tilted, as if he were flying up C, you see that he is like tilting to fly up. Because then combining all the animations, look how it turned out. He comes here and then cuts the image to him hitting Eggman. Look, I changed the skin here, see, because I thought that one was better. And now imagine this scene here, only the original scene where there are all those glows, etc. I'm also going to do the same thing, only with Minecraft. And look how beautiful it turned out. Yes, so it is. Watch the video until the end, because you will see me joining all these scenes and forming the complete trailer. Remember the forest where I recorded the video of Knuckles running? Here next to it, I also made another little part, and it was quite easy to make. I just used this tool here, which is a wooden pickaxe. The difference is that when I click with this tool, it creates stones. Look, but I can also make this pickaxe create a tree. In this case, I want it to create a normal Minecraft tree. And now with this other command, redwood, it will create pine trees. And it was with this pickaxe that I made this scenario. I literally built a mountain of stones with it and I glued the trees easily. So I also positioned here the other characters in this view, where they are on top of the stone. The difference is that I put some shaders to make it more beautiful. And now the last part of this second scene is the city. And for that, I already have a city map in this case too. And then to make this scene, I'll just put them walking and running in this case here on this street. Then one goes to the right, another to the left, and one straight. In this case, like this, Sonic goes forward. Tails comes here to the right and Knuckles over there to the left as you can see in the original scene, kind of has a glow behind them when it's close to the camera and when it's far. I also created this glow in the edit and look, it turned out very good. It looks like they are really carrying a trail of lightning, both in the first camera as in the second. So look, we got two more scenes. Next, this one that was inside Eggman's robot with the glows and this one I joined. They in the forest and in the city. Now, I'm going to do the following. I'll join these two here, see? Since they are in the same house, here it shows Knuckles' house from the outside. There is his room. And here he is playing with Sonic, talking about taking a rest. It's going to be quite some work. Ah, crap. What do you mean there are only 15 hours left? It was like 21 a while ago. Ah, Nico is joking with me. Is this serious? Okay, I really need help, but relax, guys. I promise I will make all these scenes here in this video. And I'm just gonna do the following. I'm gonna come here in our village and I'm gonna try to talk to a friend of mine to see if he can help me because without his help, it's gonna be almost impossible for me to recreate all those scenes. So I went to talk to some friends of mine. The first one I reached out to help me was GB and I explained to him everything I needed. Oh no, Jake, I can't do that. I'm very busy. But he said no because he's very busy. Well, I can talk to Furious to see if he can help me. Then I explained to him which maps I would want to use for my video and everything he would need to do and build to speed up my time yeah i can do it i just need about five hours there to be able to finish everything you asked me okay furious he will be able to help me so cool i'll go back to our schedule what happens in this next scene is exactly the following a camera zooms in on the house which is the house i asked my friend furious to make and then shows inside where knuckles is lying on the floor and sonic is swinging on a tire and then he lies on top of a sofa and well i built the interior of the house where would be his room with the mattress his bed which is a car bed very stylish also place the plates from wide load road runner he has a very exotic decoration i liked it a lot and wow this time i outdid myself in the decoration look at this it turned out very beautiful and in case you guys want to know a secret look if i press this button here it will show all this which means that this roof up here is fake look if i jump here it's not real it is nothing more than a model that is if i put it here i can move each of these minecraft cubes separately since there would be no way i could do this with the original block because the original block it doesn't turn it doesn't incline like that it just stays straight so it was a solution I used to make the block look nice. 
So I'm gonna do the following. I separated a Sonic skin, and I'm gonna record with him up here. When I press to record, it will show him hanging here on the swing. He will be here in front of the window, and I'll make him come over here. But like this, it's not with a cool swinging animation, right? So I can come here on the camera, select the character, and I create a pose of him swinging exactly from here. Like this, put him here. Then I create a new keyframe, change the position of the swing and put him coming directly here. And then I just take Sonic off his swing that he was in here and put him in the normal pose. Then I lay him down exactly like this. And now that I've created a lying down pose for him, I just take him lying down to the sofa. Look, he's going to sit here. And now the last thing left, I'll come here and make a recording with Knuckles, but lying on the floor. And that's the original scene of Sonic and Knuckles in the room. And my scene in Minecraft with lighting turned out this way. Very cool, very beautiful too. And look at this, I already changed Change the map here and wow furious it's here in hand i hope you like it but you owe me something you know okay thank you very much seriously this map turned out very beautiful i can't believe this here is minecraft the house turned out extremely identical okay and not only that he didn't build this part but he also built the back part of the house that we're going to need to use later. I haven't shown you guys yet, and I hadn't mentioned before, but I also asked Furious to make another scene, but I hadn't mentioned before, but later I'll explain better. Let's do this scene here first. This scene here is even easy, very easy actually. I just need to stop here. Add a point, and you can see that it created a keyframe. I move a little further forward, and add the other. There will be a camera slowly approaching the house. In this case, this camera I think is too fast. I can come here and increase it to 20 seconds. Much better like this. And well, the scene I told you about is a scene of Knuckles here behind. He's exactly in that little corner on the tree, but eating while a woman comes up behind. So I'm going to do this scene quickly here because it's very easy. I position myself here, start a recording with Knuckles. Then I stop and then I come here and also make a recording. But now with the woman's skin and well, look, just for comparison, these here are the two new scenes from the house, only in the original trailer. And that's how the house turned out. And then Knuckles there in the backyard, but Minecraft version. It also turned out very beautiful. And okay, we finished scene four and now scene five as well. In this case, I joined the two because it was in the same house. The next one will be this one here, scene six, where he is inside the room. So I'm going to start hurrying to be able to make these others. The problem is that there are eight hours left. That's very little. I think I'm going to have to change my plans. As I told you, when I was showing you this map, I said that Furious had created others. Yeah, this one of bowling and the one of the spikes. He did too, to be able to help me. So I just need to do this, which is the one of the room. This one is also of the room. So I'm gonna join and here is an old shed with various villain things. As there's not much time left, I'm gonna hurry up and go right do this because if I don't finish soon, I'm gonna lose my burger. Speaking of burger, I didn't tell you why it was a burger. Ah, what are you doing, Jake? I'm kind of recreating the new Knuckles trailer complete in Minecraft. Wow, and you're going to make it? I think so. That's the problem. I have time to build this. But why are you doing all this? You haven't explained yet. So I was going to talk about that now. If I manage to create this trailer before 24 hours, I'll win a burger. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was going to explain to you. So let's go back a bit in time. I was playing with my friend. Then he told me about the new Knuckles trailer. Uh, I'm a big fan of Sonic. Look at this. The new Knuckles series trailer is out. I saw it. Yeah. And I really like that trailer. Ah, uh, it would be cool if you did it in Minecraft. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's actually kind of hard making those glows. I would need to become a professional editor to create all those glow effects, please. Okay, maybe I'll look at that later. But look, I'm going to eat something because I'm very hungry. Then we finish playing the game, okay? I'm going to order a burger to eat here too. Ah, you could send me a burger here to my house, right? I could. So if you recreate the Knuckles trailer by tomorrow, I'll buy you a burger and have it arrive at your house tomorrow. Is that serious? Yeah. So as you saw, that's why I'm trying so hard to make this trailer and finish before eight hours now, because if I don't finish, I don't get a burger. So let's go. The next scenes I'm going to join will be six, seven, and eight. I'll summarize the basics because you can see that we don't have much time. Scene six is as follows. It's Knuckles in the room with the villain and he punches him. Scene seven, Knuckles builds a fort. Scene number eight, 
Knuckles is talking to another character, whose name we still don't know, because he didn't appear in the trailer, but he's encouraging him to exercise. Only the guy isn't that strong. So I did the following. I recreated the first scenario of the room, where Knuckles is with the villain. I also made it very basic. I put some paintings, to try to make it as similar as possible, and the result turned out very good. The map is ready. Let's be honest, it actually turned out cool. It's quite similar to the original. Of course, I didn't put the same paintings here in the back, but if we look at the skeleton of the map, I separated the Knuckles skin, Knuckles will come, stop time, propel himself, and will punch this guy, this guy will fly, hit here on the wall, and these concrete blocks will go flying. That's why I separated them, because they are the same blocks as the wall. So let's go. The first thing I'm gonna do is stop here, and I'm gonna press the record button. In this specific scene, it's gonna be quick, because I'm gonna leave Knuckles still, with no movement at all. I'll come here, and I'll also leave the villain still in this case, with no movements, and then here in the back. I position myself with these blocks, since they will only appear in the background later. Now I release the scene, and I come to the camera. And now yes, I can change their movement. Knuckles in this case, I'll put him in a punch position, like this. Raise the hand, create animation here to the side, select all, raise forward, little foot back, stretch the little hand here, and then I position him further forward like this. Now this guy, I change his body like this down. Put the leg like this, the other leg, the arm, and the other arm. Now it's just throwing him back here too and in this case he will fly there on the wall with the force that Knuckles has and ready. I made the animation of him hitting. What took the most work wasn't that. Because if we look at the original scene, Knuckles releases several rays through his body and has a red lighting. And Minecraft with the rendered scene. There are no such rays as you are seeing. But then that was where all the work was. Because I had to create those rays one by one. And look at the difference. And with the rays and the lighting, it looks much cooler. And as I said, now we go to scene 7. Furious also made this map for me. To help me. So look, his map turned out absurdly good. Seriously. It turned out insane. I love this skull. Hear this part where the postman comes out. So like that. Let's go. Here are several characters. In this case, all these. I will try to summarize as quickly as possible. Because as you know, my time isn't very large. So the first thing is to stop with Knuckles up here and record with him. Second thing, Sonic puts his hand on this thing here and he sees that it's really sharp. Then the woman goes over here. She sees the mess that's happening here and there's literally a dog on the floor. This wolf skin, he's without skin. And then I kept recording a few more things. When I realized that, the postman is also without his skin. But okay, I'll fix that. Well, what matters is that it's like this. If you look and pay attention, this here is the original scene where he's really up there on the skull then it shows the others the characters sonic the woman her interacting with the dog and the postman appearing only are seen in minecraft also turned out very good i tried to keep as much fidelity as possible the only difference was that he wasn't with the crown actually with that viking hat unfortunately i couldn't find it and now as i said we go to scene eight and this scenario i'll have to create it but it was also simple to create because it's a basic room and look here we are as I said, this was a somewhat more basic room. Since I'm not under time pressure, I made it quickly. So again, I'll try to summarize the scenes as quickly as possible, not to waste too much time. This here is the guy that Sonic is training. The first appearance of him is here in front of the mirror. In this case, he'll be without this headband and he will put it on. Then he comes here. Sonic takes this bar and gives it to him. I'll stop with him exactly here. At the time Sonic hands him the bar, he flies back like this. The first detail is to make him fall back there. I'll create an animation as if he were holding that bar that knuckles through. Then advancing here the camera, he falls there. And at the time he falls, we just change the animation to lying down. Second detail, the animation of the bar in this case is the following. Here, I can create a pose and rotate this down and then it does as if. Knuckles had bent it. This here is the original scene where he and this friend of his are literally training, doing these things. And so it is how it turned out inside Minecraft. I really liked the result. We finished these three scenes and I'll tell you it took a long time for the simple reason that I took advantage in this time and I edited the effects that was left to edit that I showed. So yeah, I only have one more hour to do these last two and it's night again. I really wanna eat a burger. Almost 24 hours have passed and as I'm already quite tired, I can't wait. I'm gonna show you how these two maps turned out that furious helped me make i'll summarize the scenes and then yes you can stay with the result
of the complete trailer. Here in Minecraft, in summary, scene 9 is the new villains, both the man and the woman in suits, as well as that man in overalls, in the shed, fixing a robot, and with Knuckles' fur, in a capsule. And scene 10 is the villain man and woman in suits, but now, with gloves, that generate energy, based on Knuckles' fur. And then, they kinda confront each other, you know? Well, here's the shed, and it's more or less like this. I separated the main items, which in this case, would be this part here, that appears in the trailer. As you can see, he's fixing this, would be a part of the robot. And here, he's taking out Knuckles' capsule. Ah, also a detail, that I had forgotten to put this on the table, but it's this briefcase here. He opens it, so I'll do the following. I recorded first, with the villain, in all the parts where he appears, both in the robot, and in the briefcase, and in the capsule. Now, I need to do a take. Where appears? The villain woman in a suit here. She's standing, as the villain will be talking to her, from this angle. And now, here next to her, I just put the man in a suit too, which is the other villain right. As we're at the end, I'm not even gonna give spoilers, let's go straight to the next scenario, which is this one of bowling, and in this specific part, I need to record, with a ring, in Sonic's case, which is where the two will come out right, the villain and the village in suits, they will literally come out from here. He's already with the glove and with Knuckles' fur. Here on the chest, he and she see, generating an energy. So I stop here behind and kind of pretend that it comes out from here. And lastly, Knuckles. He's here from afar, watching everything. When he sees that the villains come out, he goes and jumps. The difference is that he literally comes spinning. So I made this animation of him spinning while these two here are prepared for the attack. Well, so practically, our trailer is finally ready. There are some things that I didn't show doing, like small parts of the trailer and even certain animations because I wanted to try to advance as much as I could, but now, finally, I'm going to get my reward and ready. Our scene board is 100% complete. Now, yes, we can have the complete trailer of Knuckles in Minecraft. Well, I'll do the following. I put the trailer here on this pen drive, and we'll go there, show it to Nicholas. To obviously, he gives me my burger, and also you can watch. Look, Nicholas inside. I'll arrive a bit sad to pretend to him that I lost. Ah, hi, Nicholas. How are you? You're all sad there. Came to say you couldn't make it. Admit you lost. Haha, ha. look, and who said I lost? I completed the challenge in less than 24 hours. Now where's my snack, huh? Okay, I'll send it. Send me your address. And good, look, the snack arrived here. And wow, it's very beautiful. Look at this cheese. Let me put the pen drive here. And let's watch while I eat. Subscribe so I can win more burgers. You're an alien. You're super powerful. You recently saved the world with your friends. What do you like to do for fun? Vengeance. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. <sighs> hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself at home. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. Is that our mailman? <laughs> this is not a place of battle. Come, Weed. Well, most people think I'm a joke. Yeah. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. Knuckles. Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me Knuckles. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. You're mine. I made a promise to protect this planet. I am ready. Oh, snap! Someone's about to get slapped. If you watch the video until here, comment this word that is appearing on the screen. I'll give a little heart on your comment. Thanks.